Hey everybody, it's your boy Brickhouse here, and uh, some business news that kind of ties into uh, Disney a little bit. Hasbro, you know, the maker of games like, oh, I don't know, Monopoly, um, G.I. Joe action figures, which, by the way, makes Hasbro a pretty penny. Um, they also make Transformers. My Little Pony. Well, they also license out because of the purchase purchase of Kenner Toys some years ago. They also put out Star Wars toys, action figures, play sets, you name it. Um, they also put out Marvel action figures and play sets and so on and so forth. Well... That same... Ha oh, by the way, they also own the rights to Power Rangers. Which they're going to be rebooting the Power Rangers TV show at some point. I believe it's going to be on Netflix, I think. Could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong in the chat. Or in the comment section down below. But it was announced just the other day. Hasbro laying off 1,100 workers as weak toy sales persist into holiday season. Now, 1,100 jobs is about 20% of Hasbro's workforce. So it says here, according to CNBC, Hasbro's laying off about 1,100 employees as toy maker struggles with soft sales that have carried into the holiday shopping season. Hasbro had about 6,300 employees as of earlier this year. Shares of the company fell more than 2% Tuesday. Mattel, their main rival, you know, they, they make Barbie, uh, also slipped. Now, Hasbro laid off hundreds, about 800 to be exact, employees earlier this year and had warned in October that there was trouble on the rise. Trouble across the horizon. The company's most recent quarterly earnings report. Hasbro slashed its already soft full-year outlook, projecting a 13 to 15% revenue decline for the year. Now again, Hasbro has some popular uh, brands. My Little Pony, Nerf, Transformers, G.I. Joe. Um, Hasbro stock is down nearly 20% through Monday's close. Now, Here's the thing, folks. When you have movie properties such as Star Wars or Disney Star Wars, Marvel or Disney Marvel, and those movies are relatively successful at the box office, that in turn drives toy sales. And I can remember as a kid... I had the Ewok Village. I had the the Hoth play set from Empire Strikes Back. I had multiple action figures, which I still wish I had today, because I know some of those would be worth quite a bit of money. Um, and and it's because of Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi. But when you put out content that stinks. Content that doesn't do well at the box office. Um, kids aren't going to be interested in those toys. And if they even are interested, the parents aren't going to be as apt to buy those toys for their kids. And it's a shame because these are, these are toys that, that can be passed out, down from generation to generation to generation to generation. I mean, I was on the... I was a little bit older when Transformers really hit its stride. But I can remember my son at an early age was interested in Transformers. So because of the amount of Transformers content that was out there, Transformers um, Robots in Disguise, Transformers uh, Energon, Cybertron, I forget, there, there was three series that all tied together. He got a lot of Transformers when he was a kid. And the popularity of the movies was about that time when he was growing up. So that also drove to buying Transformers for my son when he was, you know, a kid. 
Um, but this is a result of the failure, again, of Disney putting out good content that people would want to see and would want to take their kids to go see and get their kids interested in it. That's what this is about. So, in a way, you can say, you know what? Disney has got a hand in uh, taking another brand down a peg or two. I'm not saying that Hasbro is going to go out of business. I'm not saying that you can't go out and buy your um, your whatever version of Monopoly that you want to buy um, anytime soon. But this this is this is another one of those um, warning moments of. Go woke, get broke. So, comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Um, what do you think is going to happen next? As it pertains to Hasbro. I mean, even, even Mattel got dinged a little bit. And they had, you know, billion dollar Barbie at the box office this year. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, thank you to those of you that have subscribed, the 12,300 of you. Um, I would like to see that number inch up just a little bit as time goes on. Uh, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, um, thanks for watching, and I will see you later. <laughs>